Hi guys, it's Miss Chima here, back with our Origami and Illusions Club. Now, last week we focused on doing a little bit more research into illusions and looking at lots of different illusions that you could see available online. This week, we're going to be focusing mainly on origami, okay? And where it comes from. So, konnichiwa, which means hello, okay, in Japanese. <laughs> Origami is the Japanese art of paper folding. Okay, so ori is the Japanese word for folding and kami is the Japanese word for paper, hence origami. Okay. Japanese art. It actually began in China. Now, the Chinese invented paper around 100 AD when the invention spread to Japan around 600 AD, as did the art of paper folding. Okay, so that was the origin of, of origami. In ancient times, origami could only be used for special occasions, occasions simply because paper was so scarce, there wasn't much available. And the figures that were made from origami were like animals, costumed people, ceremonial designs. Some of these you've actually seen online as well. And some of the animals we've created together. There were no directions like our club. Um, none of the folding instructions were ever written down for those models. But they were just passed on from generation to generation because um, each generation taught the next generation and thus they learned because they continued to practice. The art of paper folding wasn't actually called origami until the end of the 19th century. By the 1950s, origami gained popularity from world famous origami artist Akira Yoshizawa. Okay. Now, one of the first books that was ever written on origami was The Secret of 1000 Cranes Origami by Haijin Sen's Bazaru Orikata. Now, these are the pictures of just a couple of pages from that book. And this is Akira Yoshizawa. He was considered the grand master of origami because he developed origami as a creative art and creating new folding styles. Now, here is just a brief example of some of the folding techniques that became so famous back then. And there's some examples here of different origami folds. Now, what I would like you guys to have a go at doing this week is I want you to do a little bit of research into origami. Now, remember to use children's safe search engines, especially because it's e-safety day today. I really want you guys to make sure you are staying safe online. So make sure it is a children's safe search engine you're doing, using and, and create either a PowerPoint or a poster related to origami and just send it through and I can't wait to see what your research looks like. Okay, until next week. Bye-bye. See you all.